up everybody so i'm here to make another video i'm gonna keep giving y'all the negative on nevada because i don't want y'all to move here and get go through the shit that i went through so i'm gonna tell y'all everything that i can tell y'all about nevada so i'm gonna tell y'all about the job market i don't give a shit if your husband got 16 dollars or 12 dollars when they got a job they're foreigners of course they're gonna get a job secondly they don't have jobs for black folks and i'm gonna keep this 100 they racist as hell they under try to be under well they ain't undercover with it they racist as hell they messy as hell they fucking shady as fuck anybody from the west coast they just fucking shady as shit i mean i know michigan got their fucking flaws but shit here ridiculous they the jobs here they not if they're not hiring why are you still consistently posting on indeed and then they get you, they, you do the interview. You got a three-process interview. First, you do the interview over the phone. Then you come in, and then if you, they determine if they want you. First of all, they need to knock the middleman down. All that. P people got bills going on while y'all sitting here going through this process to come up to see if you're a right fit. Bitch, people need a job, and you might not be the right fit. I have had interviews from December to now. I got two pending right now. And... I had one Friday, and I think what happened is that they called the job to verify that I worked there. And it was like, well, yeah, I'm going to set her up with an interview. So why I get it, I was going to have an interview Friday at 430. And they threw an emergency meeting on us at 330. So I couldn't call to, to let them know that can we reschedule this meeting. My thing is, if you don't like me, and you know I'm trying to find another job. Let me leave, bitch. Quit trying to... Bitch, I've been working for 22 goddamn years. Quit trying to fuck up my work record. Because let me tell y'all something. You see this face here? Karma's a bitch. You fuck over me. You fuck with me. You fuck over me. You do anything to me. That, and I'm being nice to you. Your karma and cashback will hit you so hard. It'll make your great, great, great grandma feel it. I'm so tired of it happening. I'm trying to adjust to this state. Unfortunately, I wouldn't be had left this state if it wasn't for my ex and his lying ass. Trifling lying ass. And that bitch gonna get it. I hate that motherfucker. Car could run over his ass and I wouldn't give two shits. I'm, I'm angry and I'm tired of being angry. There's I have my good days and my bad days. I'm not depressed, to let alone I'm not. You people, the way y'all talk to people... Somebody gonna punch y'all in y'all mouth. I was at the supermarket Sunday getting some groceries and guess what I found? Some toilet paper, y'all. So I'm getting my groceries in the car. Instead of the lady said, excuse me, can you just move, move, uh, uh, can you move, move your bucket? I looked at her like, bitch, I will eat you up with no salt. And let's just say I can take care of myself. I'm just gonna say that much. I can take care of myself. And I'm, I'm just tired. I have been working for four since I was 13. And I know how the job process go. I, yes, I know I'm in a new state. Don't hit on, and let me tell you, if you got to get on this page to tell me, oh, what is, don't even get on my page because I will delete your shit and block the fuck out of your ass. And not only that, I will read you for the filth that the fuck that you are. I am tired of motherfuckers jumping on my page, talking mad shit. Get the fuck on, hit that click box, bitch, because um, I'm going to delete your shit any motherfucking way. I'm getting tired of I don't know what the fuck y'all think. Don't let this nice little face fool you because I'm, I'm a, a bitch in the kitchen. I stay angry because y'all bitches always running off at the mouth for doing bullshit. I don't got time for that. It's a... What's up, YouTube? It's Latoya with another video. So today, it's April 1st, and I'm really not feeling it right now. Today I had a day where I'm trying to make it, you know, you ever have one of them days to where you trying to say, no, this isn't a bad day, this is, it's, it's all good, but it just still keep coming out like that. And so I am compiled a list for people who are black, that, who's black, not black, sorry, people who's black, that are thinking of moving to Nevada don't i have comprised a list in my head of 10 reasons why you should not move to nevada so let's get ready with that one 
One, the boomers are racist. I'm trying to be as clean as I can with them. I'm going to say foreigners. They are very racist. And they own damn near practically everything or managers of everything. Except for when you go to Henderson, it's predominantly white, you know. So, two, if you're not used to hot weather, then this isn't the place for you. Because when it gets summertime, the highest temperature that it has gotten thus far is 118 and 116 degrees. So, if you can ex not extend that extreme hotness, this ain't the place for you. Three. Rudeness. Everybody here is so rude. They are the rudest fuckers I've ever seen. I have to, on the daily, try to keep myself from going to jail because I'd be ready to reach out and punch. Not touch, punch. Someone. Punch. And there's no need for you to be that rude. If you hate yourself so bad, jump off the nearest cliff. Run your car into a pole. Do something, but all that other stuff. Mm -mm. Um, three. I think that's wrong. Yeah. Um, no, four. Because I said rude. Four. The job market. The job market. It takes ninety days for them to give you a job. I have applied for a job for. When I first got here, it took me two and a half months to get a job. And then when I got my job, it took me, it's taking me now to get another job. Sorry about the delay. It's taking thinking, it's taking me now six months, eight months, no, eight months to find another job. I done went to several interviews and everything. Fuck the interviews. Give me a job. This is the thing. Oh, well, we want you to come in for a se second interview to see if you're the right fit. What you mean right fit? Either my resume matches or not. Because I'm going to tell y'all like this. I don't kiss ass, but I do kick ass. I don't kiss ass. I've never in my last 45 years. I'm just trying to let this go through till I finish my nail school. And till... Um, I find me something else because once I finish nail school, I'll be working part time doing nails and then working part time doing something else. But I'm um, or no, 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 get my own business. That's I, mean. I just do nails and then have my own business because I don't plan to be working for nobody because I don't like to, the rules people set. And the half of the shit they do over here on the west coast is because people are black and they don't stick together because you know the Latinos, the foreigners, and I'm trying to be nice when I say their names because. I can be real, real nasty about it. They stick together. We don't stick together. I don't understand how you don't know. They don't, don't have culture. Well, you do have the internet, and y'all ass on the internet for everything else. Y'all ass should be on the internet for that. Um, another reason to not move out here. I think I lost my number. Maybe I'm at five or six. Um, another reason not to move out here is just that that they're not they're not humble they're not friendly and i don't understand what you what the fuck do you i'm still trying to figure out what the fuck you got an attitude for you just rude to be rude kill yourself sorry i had to say that i'm tired i didn't got tired i didn't got frustrated every time i think that i'm moving something up here these bitches come with another issue my job i hate them i hate the job but yet whenever the employers call they um block me because I know that they're blocking me. There is no way that I've been working for 22 years and I can get an interview, but I can't get the job. They don't call me back or they don't say, oh, well, we appreciate you coming in. And they, they just don't. For eight months, I have been at my job for eight months and for eight months I've been trying to find another job because they are so unorganized, unstable, and racist. Because I'm taking calls, I'm in a call center, for right now and I'm taking calls for racist Reno that's their new name for me racist Reno because they race racist rude Reno because they don't know how to talk to people to I, I I be wanting to punch them in the face that that rudeness like if I'm talking to you and then you say something back rude 
But I think she's been rooting this last day on Sunday. She caught, she caught the drift because I was about to tear Winko up. Okay? Winko was about to get tore up. And she was like, you don't have to apologize. And I looked and she, he, he signaled her. Was like, mm -mm, that's right. When you look at this face, I am not from here. I have battle scars. You won't need to know it, but I have battle scars. I do fight. I do. So, um, yeah, I wouldn't move out here. Unless y'all don't come unite, that's why folks, that's why they do us like that. First of all, you can, don't let these people take over to stick together. I'm not going to tell y'all that no more. I don't care if people get mad or what I'm saying on here. I don't care. I lost all respect for the West Coast when I got over here and had to be homeless because my, my partner was taken from me. After I put down the deposit and all like that because he's racist. And I'm going to just start, I'm not, I guess that's what y'all want me to do, beat y'all up. No, no, I know what to do with y'all. I'm going to start taking y'all money. I'm going to start suing each and every one of y'all when y'all start losing money. Because I believe in suing too, trust me. I will sue you for everything you have. And since y'all want to sue, oh, that's what I'm going to start doing. I'm going to start suing y'all. Y'all want me to beat y'all ass in order to, but I'm going to do it another way. I'm going to take your money. I love money, so I'm going to take your money. So... I, again, I don't know where I stopped at, at this video, but I'm right now I'm not depressed. I'm just going through some shit, and I'm really irritated. And it's the new month, and all of a sudden it's just like I'm the bad person. But the person who's persuaded me to come out here, oh no, he's not. He's living his life. Oh, he's doing flips and cop wheels and having his life but at this point i just sent you out here for your sake you ain't sent me out here for nothing missed me two times with that bullshit well i'm gonna get off of here find me something to do well i don't guess i'm gonna do and get to my baby because he's he's trying to text me so i'm out